Okay, so here we are at the very end of the Maya user interface lesson. Now we've taken you guys on a quick trip all the way around the UI talking about each of the elements. In this final video, what I would like to do is show you guys how you can go about controlling which user interface elements are visible and which elements are hidden. Okay. Very easy, and it's very important as well. As you become more proficient working with Maya, you're going to find yourself wanting to hide certain parts of the UI just to give yourself a little bit more space for working. Right. You know, plus, a lot of people out there like to have, well, what's just simply known as a, a clean setup. Yeah. So it's nice and clean. You only see what you need to see. That's right. So... Before I begin talking about how to control what we see and what we don't see, let's just do a quick recap of the elements. Across the top, we have our menu bar. This we're not going to worry about hiding any of the menu bars right now. We're going to talk about that a little bit later on when we get into the hot box. Okay. Moving down up from the menu bar, we've got our status line. From there, we've got the shelf. Moving over clockwise to the right-hand side, we've got our channel box, our layer editor. Up underneath that, we've got our time slider and transport controls. Underneath that, we've got our range slider and a few other controls. Up underneath that, we've got our command line and our command feedback. Up underneath that, we've got our help line. Moving on around to the left, we now have our toolbox, and that's pretty much all of the UI elements that we can control showing and hiding. So how do we do this? It's very simple. From our menu bar, we'll go to display. We'll come down to UI elements, and look at this. Here we go. All of the different things we can show and hide. Now, I'm going to use these uh, two parallel bars to tear off the menu, as we showed you guys how to do earlier. Okay. Rip. That just makes it easier to deal with it, so I don't have to keep going back to the menu over and over. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to hide my status line. Click, status line gone. I want to hide my shelf. Click, shelf gone. <laughs> I want to hide my time slider. Now, let's go ahead and continue moving on around. I want to hide the channel box. Click, gone. I want to hide the time slider. Click, gone. I want to hide the range slider. Click, gone. I want to get rid of the command line. Click, gone. I want to get rid of the help line. Click. Now it's really becoming bare. Right. I want to get rid of my toolbox. Click, gone. Now it is extremely bare. You have only two menu bars. If you guys remember, the one menu bar right here is for the current pane. And this will change based off of what panel is loaded. Right. So if I come up here to panels and let's load something else in this pane. Let's say I got an idea. How about the graph editor? Sure. Look at this. A whole bunch of different stuff. Nice. Let's go ahead and hit panels. And let's do something like, we'll go down here to, actually, let's go down and save layouts and do a four view. There you go. So now it's menu bar, menu bar, menu bar, and finally, menu bar. Nice. So you can have Maya in all sorts of configurations. Oh, yeah. Which is very handy while you work. And you just you only need to bring back you know the elements that you need. Like let's say I'm doing some animation stuff. My range slider is already set, and I'm happy with how it's set. So I just bring back my timeline. It makes it a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. But don't worry. There's hotkeys for just about everything, including scrubbing back and forth on your time slider, play, stop, rewind, etc. So you technically don't have to have anything visible. Right. So maybe I want to bring back just my status line. So you can control what you do have and what you don't have. Of course, me, I like the channel box. Now, why do you have these three icons here? This is how you can quickly toggle between channel box, layer editor, tool settings, attribute editor. Even though my attribute editor has been set up so that it tears off in a window, if we show it this way, it's going to show it docked. Cool. Okay? So let's go ahead and set that back. We can also hide all UI elements, show UI elements, and restore. So very simple stuff, all set up. You know, use this the way you like to use it. Here we go, real quick. Boom. Ta-da! So, real simple, real simple. And we do a restore. And just a quick thing, when you're in the UI, you will notice these dotted lines next to each major part of the UI. And you can use these to hide any specific part. So you just click on it, like here, I'll click on the one next to the status line, and the status line's gone, and I can bring it back by clicking here inside the menu. That's right. And there are other ways to control what parts of the user interface are visible and not visible, but these really don't fit in right here because we've got to introduce you guys to a few more things. Right. So for now, this is, and it really is the most common way of controlling controlling what elements of the user interface are visible and are not visible. Display, UI elements, and there you go. So with that, that's going to conclude this lesson on the Maya user interface and all the videos involved in introducing you to it. From here, we're going to start diving deeper and deeper into Maya, and you're going to learn a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. So with that, that's going to wrap up this lesson and this video. Thanks a lot, guys.